Ruse Bolton's hold on the north is opposed by the remaining northern lords, most of whom lost sons and men at the Red Wedding. While scolding Ramsay for needlessly flaying a northern lord, along with his wife and brother, alive for refusing to pay their taxes, Ruse points out that they do not have enough men to rule the north should the Stark Bannerman rise against them. He also reminds Ramsay that the pact they made was with Tywin Lannister, who is now dead, meaning that the Lannisters will likely no longer support them. He tells Ramsay that the best way to strengthen their hold is not by flaying people and subsequently enraging their loved ones, but by marrying into good families. He has arranged, with Petter Bellish, to have Ramsay marry Sansa Stark. When Bellish and Sansa arrive, Ruse greets Sansa with courtesy and she reciprocates, despite knowing he personally killed her brother. Later, while speaking with Bellish, Ruse expresses his doubt as to whose side Bellish is truly on and is visibly concerned with reprisals from Cersei should she find out Sansa is marrying Ramsay, though Bellish assures Ruse that the Lannisters have lost a great deal of power in the wake of Tywin's death. Ruse reveals that he has read a letter sent for Bellish from Cersei before handing it to him, and demands to read Bellish's reply to Cersei before it is sent off. While having dinner with Sansa and his family, Ruse grows increasingly annoyed with Ramsay when he begins to torture Sansa emotionally by having Reek apologize to her for allegedly murdering Bran and Rickon, and suggesting that Reek give Sansa away at their wedding. Ruse turns the tables on Ramsay by revealing that he and Valda are expecting a son. Ramsay later confronts Ruse about this, and Ruse counters that Ramsay disgraced himself at dinner. He then regales Ramsay with the tale of how he met his mother, a miller's wife who got married without paying Ruse homage. Ruse had the miller hanged and raped his wife beneath his swaying corpse, even thought she fought him the whole time. Ruse was later visited by this woman carrying Ramsay and claiming he was his son. Ruse reveals to Ramsay that he very nearly killed both him and his mother, but stayed himself when he realized by looking into Ramsay's eyes that he was his son after all. Ramsay is visibly stunned after hearing all of this from his father. Ruse then changes the subject to Stannis Baratheon, who is garrisoned at Castle Black but will surely make another attempt for the Iron Throne, for which he will need to take the North from the Boltons. Ruse reminds Ramsay that the North is theirs, and they vow to counter the coming attack on Winterfell. A few nights later, Ruse officiates Sansa and Ramsay's wedding ceremony in the Godswood. As Stannis's army approaches Winterfell, Ruse discusses how to retaliate with his council. Ruse advocates remaining inside the castle to wait out Stannis's siege, since Stannis's army will break before they run out of supplies. Ramsay, however, suggests that his father meet Stannis in open battle to show him how he will deal with southern invaders. He asks Ruse for 20 good men as part of a sabotage mission one that destroys Stannis's supplies, breaks the morale of his army, and causes his sellswords to desert. Although Stannis is easily defeated by the Bolton army in the ensuing battle when he reaches Winterfell, it turns out to be a Pyrrhic victory for them as Sansa escapes from Winterfell with Theon, stripping Ruse of his easily most powerful political asset. 